whatever it is today that has been stopping your glory from appearing, I decree and declare that you are appearing in glory, in the power of his resurrection, in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and declare that every covering cast is broken over your life, in the mighty name of Jesus. It's broken over your children, it's broken over your household, it's broken over your business. You will not suffer what others are suffering, what others are experiencing shall not be your portion because of the power of his resurrection you will exhale in the name of Jesus and every grave that has held you down must let you go today we'll be taking our Bible text from the book of First Samuel 30. I'll be reading from verses 8 down to verses 9. Where we are there as a church. Let me hear you say amen. As we're opening it up, somebody say, Many blessings attached to my church. Say, Many blessings attached to my prophet. Say many blessings attach to me in Jesus' name. Amen. First Samuel 30 verses 8. So David inquired of the Lord saying, Shall I pursue this troop? Shall I overtake them? And he answered him saying, Pursue, for you shall surely overtake them and without fail recover all. Somebody say the name of Jesus. I shall recover all. So David went, he and 600 men who were with him, and came to the brook Bessel, where those stayed who were left behind. And David pursued he and 400 men, for 200 stayed behind, who were so weary that they could not cross the brook Bessel. My prayer for you this morning, as we enter into this part of the year is that you will not be found among those who are weary. That you will not be found amongst those who are weary that you cannot cross into the next half of this year. You will be part of the rest that not only started well, but they also finished well. In the mighty name of Jesus, kindly be seated. Today the scripture says that 200 men stayed behind who was so weary that they could not cross the brook vessel they could not cross to possess their miracle they could not cross to take possession of what belonged to them i'll be speaking this morning on stay focused stay focused and continue your journey Stay focused and continue your journey. Because there is power in continuity. Child of God, hear this. Life is a journey. I've come to realize that one. I've settled it. It's not a dispute. I'm not confused about that fact. I'm not about that truth. Life indeed is a journey. Life is a race. And for us, to get to our expected destinations, we must possess the power of focus. We must possess the power of continuity. I've said this before, time in and time out, that no matter how slow you travel on a journey, if you continue, whether you are taking baby steps, like they say, or little steps, maybe minute by minute, second by second, if you continue on that road without diverting, without turning back, you will surely get to your destination one way or another. It is just a matter of time because arrival is for those who do not quit. Safe landing is for those who do not quit. Life is a journey, but the destination to be attained, for it 
to be visible, for it to be possible, there must be the ability to remain focused and the ability to continue till the end. Many people have not gotten to their expected destinations because they lack this ability. They do not have focus on what is more important in their life, which is God. They do not have the ability to even persevere, endure, continue on the journey that Baba God has started them in. Some of us did not start our Christian life from this church. We started it before we even entered this ministry, before we even belonged to this body of believers. But the question is, what is going on? The Bible tells us that some men began to pursue with David. Yes, they started with him. They started to pursue with him in attempt to recover what the enemy had come to steal. Thank God for men that know that when something is stolen, when something is not right, you got to fix it. You got to take a hold of it and take it back. And the Bible tells us that when they got to a particular junction by the river, Bible says that 200 men out of the rest could not continue on this journey. They could not go on. And they looked at David and the rest and said, please go on for us. We are weary. We are tired. Recover all on our behalf. We are not interested anymore. We are feeling so tired. But the Bible tells me that the joy of the Lord is our strength. One thing I've come to realize is that when you give no room for the enemy to come and rob you of your joy, you will never be found weak. You will never be found, you know, going under. By the special grace of God, joy is one of the factors that keeps a man, a woman strong. And that is why you cannot allow certain personalities and people in your life that come to steal your joy that come to, you know, take away the very thing that keeps you going, keeps you excited. For someone like me, is the things of the Lord. When I hear the things of God, anything that concerns the things of God, I'm excited about it because I think about tomorrow. I've graduated from the level of the past, the present. We've entered into the realm of those who are looking to finish well. We've entered into the realm of those who know what life is all about. That is not how a man starts that matters. So we don't see us talking about our past glory. We are more focused on where we are going tomorrow. How our end is going to be. The Bible says that these other 200 could not continue their journey. They were tired. So David and the rest, what did they do? They didn't just get discouraged because of those ones who could not continue. May you not be part of those people who cannot continue. May you not be part of those people who get weary along the journey of life. May you make the right choices, the right decisions that he that started a good work in me is he that will finish it. We may start this journey together, but we may not finish it together. We may start it from Nigeria. We may not end in Nigeria together. Me, I may be going to America. Me, I may be heading to China. Me, I may be going to wherever the Lord is leading me from a higher level to a higher level. Am I talking to somebody in this place? Why am I saying that? It's because many a times if you are not matured, if you are not sensitive to the things of the spirit, the people around you can also be the discouraging factor why you do not progress. Why you do not move on the speed you are called to move. That is why when people are running a race, when you see the Olympics or the marathons, when, they are, when you see those runners, you see them running in such a way that they don't know who is on the left and who is on the right. They are just running to finish. They are just running in such a way. It's not that they are selfish, but they just cannot afford to look left. Because sometimes you may look left and you may be discouraged. You may look left and it may slow you down. So you have to look at the finish line. And you have to understand why you started in the first place. Some of us started ministry not to play. Some of us started our work with God not to give up. Some of us started into something not to 
to abort or to miscarry it. Some of us have a finishing spirit. Some of us have a victory spirit. Some of us are the people that we may fall, but we will rise again. We can never be found in the bottoms of life. Why? Because we have a conqueror's mentality. We have a victor spirit at work in us. And we therefore cannot give in to distractions. Am I talking to somebody in this place? Now you will not tell me that when the 200 said that they were getting tired, that was not a distraction. That is a distraction. Because they started together. But David could not afford to be distracted. And the rest also could not afford to be distracted. And the Bible said that they went on. They continued the journey. They pursued. And what happened? As they did not give up. As they did not also stay with those who are weary. The Bible said they ended up having the testimony of they recovered all. Just as God had told David. He said pursue for you shall surely recover. Go forth for you shall surely get the victory. Do not be discouraged of what is going on at hand right now. Because he that started with you is he that will finish with you. David and the rest went on. They continued the power of continuity. And the Bible says they recovered all. There are some things that are lacking. There are some things that are missing. Whatever it is, as we've entered into this part of this year, we are going to recover from now to the end of the year. We are going to take possession of everything that was stolen, everything that was taken away, justly, unjustly, whatever it may be. This is our season. This is our part of the year where in the year of goodness, we shall be recovering. We shall be recovering. We shall be recovering. We shall be recovering because we will not give up. We will move and continue in the good work that God has started in our life. The Bible said not only did David and those who did not give up and did not quit, not only did they recover their own things, but they also recovered all the possessions of those who were weak, of those who did not continue. They also recovered their own possession. My prayer is that, hey, my God, nobody is going to take what belongs to me. Nobody is going to do what I have been called to do. You know why I'm saying that? If you've ever had your possession in somebody's hand, you may not know it is easy to give, but it is difficult to take it back. It is easy to borrow, but it's difficult to take back what you borrowed. I don't know if you've ever experienced that in life. Sometimes you find yourself struggling unnecessary for what you should not be struggling for. So it is better to do it on your own. It is better for you to go yourself, possess it, let it be in your hand, so you know that your own is in your hand. David and the rest, they, they did what? They pursued. They went forward. They didn't give up. And the Bible said they recovered everything plus the ones of those who had given up. Those others who did not have strength to continue. What happened to them? They forfeited their portion. Because they lack the power to continue. In the name of Jesus, may you continue. In the name of Jesus, may you not give up. In the name of Jesus, may you not be counted and considered as those 200 who were weary when they shouldn't have been weary. Who were tired that shouldn't have been tired. May you be part of those that say, I don't care how my body is feeling. As long as my mind is strong, I can do it. I don't care what my circumstances may look at. Ah, the just must walk by faith and not by sight. May you be part of those that when you face temptation, you are able to overcome your temptation by the word of God and not by your emotion, not by your present circumstance, not by how you feel. Because if you want to follow your feeling, you will forever remain where you are. Ah, if some of us are following our feeling, we won't be where we are today. If you want to follow your feeling, you will not be moving on the speed that God wants you to move on. Sometimes you just have to overcome by the word of God. You just have to tell that situation that you are too small. You cannot stop me. You are too small. Some people, because of rain, sometimes rain even stops people from doing things. Oh, it's raining. I can't go again. I can't go to that meeting. It's raining. And then you miss out on your daily bread because of rain. 
You miss out on God's blessing because of rain. Weather cannot stop some of us today. I say situation cannot stop some of us today. Circumstances cannot stop some of us today. Ah, people's behaviors cannot stop some of us today. Am I talking to somebody in this place? People's inadequacy cannot stop some of us today. People's ignorance cannot stop some of us today. Some of us are headed to destination somewhere. Hey! Hey! Destination somewhere. And we cannot be distracted. We cannot look at our sentiments. We cannot look at our emotions. We cannot look at our feelings. We cannot even sometimes look at how our body is even feeling. We have to conquer tiredness with strong mind. Who am I talking to in this place? Who am I talking to in this place? Tell your neighbor, continue, continue, continue. Continue, tell your neighbor, continue. Tell your neighbor, you cannot be weak. Say, you cannot be distracted at a time like this. It's not how a man starts that matters. It's how he finishes. Do you, know, do you think that some people, they remember who you were yesterday? You think some people are talking about your past. They're not talking about you. They're talking about who you are now. They are looking at who you are now. That is what they are gossiping about. It's your now. They are talking about. Some news get old. People don't talk of old news. And when some people talk of old news, people will look and say, is it this one you are talking? It's old now. This is old news. Nobody wants to sell old news. People are looking for the hottest, latest information. The hottest, latest things now. Newspapers sell on the now. They don't sell on the old. Who am I talking to in this place? Otherwise, some people are telling you some certain things. You'll be looking at them. You two, you'll be joining in. You'll be joining in in old news. News that has passed since 10 years ago. Is what you're coming to tell me now. We are past that level. Somebody say we are past that level. Somebody say we are past that level. I pray for somebody that in the name of Jesus you will continue. You'll be part of those who continued. You'll be part of those who please God. You'll be part of the victory team. You'll be part of the conqueror team. You'll be part of the finishers. In the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody say recover. Say recover. Everything that has been stolen. Say recover. Everything that is missing. That is lacking. In the mighty name of Jesus. Nobody will take your place. Nobody will take your portion. Nobody will take your position. You shall recover everything that has been stolen. Because you will tell yourself, I cannot quit. I cannot give up at such a time like this. People take your position. People take things that are your portion because you give up. You see somebody now sitting in a position they shouldn't be sitting. But you gave them the position because when you quit, somebody took over. You see somebody wearing what they didn't wear yesterday. It was your dress or it was going to be your dress. But because you quit, somebody else took your mantle. You see somebody driving a car that was meant for you. But because you quit, the blessing now went to those who did not quit. Something I've come to realize in this my journey with, in, in life and my work with God is that many a times... Those who quit, those who give up, always are slaves, as servants to those who continued. Those who continue always end up being the leaders, always end up being the happening thing, always end up being on top. And those who quit always go begging one way or another to those who did not quit. Write it down. Write it down. Write it down. Those who quit, those who don't continue, those who give up, always end up begging from those. It may not be the person directly, but you will always see yourself going somewhere to look for something. And if you are looking for something, it's always in the hand of somebody who did not quit. Am I talking to somebody in this place? Kindly be seated. My prayer is that nobody will take your place. I said nobody will take your place. You will not give your place so easily. 
You will not give your portion so easily. You will not give your position so easily. In the mighty name of Jesus. Look at your neighbor and say, Neighbor, continue. Say continue. You've already started. It is easier to finish than to quit. It is better to finish, to get to the finish line than to go back. Tell your neighbor, continue. Say there is power in continuity in the mighty name of Jesus. I say in the mighty name of Jesus. There is no room for turning back. There is no room for diversion. There is no room for going back. Tell your neighbor, press. Say press. Say press forward towards the high calling that God has for you. Say there is nothing in the back. Yes, there's nothing in the back. Say, so old things have passed away. Even some fashion that is old cannot be worn today. Old things have what? Passed away. May you not be like Lot's wife that looked back. Instead of looking forward and just keep pressing forward, she now looked back and turned to a pillar of salt. You will always give the enemy things that belong to you when you quit.